What's going on guys, my name is Palpatine Bricks and today we're bringing back another episode of collecting every single Lego Star Wars set ever made and today we'll be looking at the 2000s Lego Star Wars sets and every single set that was released in the year 2000 and seeing exactly how many sets there were, what kind of sets there were and what else we'll be looking at right 2000s, now. 2000s, we had 17 new Lego Star Star Wars sets that were released, including minifigure packs, small Lego sets, to Technic builds, to bigger sets, and a bundle pack which is an exclusive to 1999 and 2000. So that's actually included in the 2000s era. Um, so that's another set that's been included in this video. Before the video starts, I just want to mention that I am one of the biggest LEGO Star Wars collectors in Oceania. And I'm trying to collect every single LEGO Star Wars set ever made being with the set. 2000 the year 2000 is today's video and i'm hoping to go through every single set in this video from smallest to largest and show you exactly how many pieces and what kind of set it is just to show you what set you need to buy or potentially need to purchase to complete your 2000s collection so let's take a look at that right now the year 2000 we got released four of these lego star wars minifigure a packs a battle droid one 3343 three, with 31 one pieces 3340 three, with 25 pieces which is darth maul darth vader and palpatine as opposed to battle droid 3341 three, with i can't even see the piece count because it is so old but it has boba fett Luke Skywalker and Han Solo. We've got 3342 Star Wars number 3. That had two scout troopers and Chewbacca. So in the year 2000s, we got a little bit of a cooler design and thought and thinking of Lego. They actually released these minifigure packs. This allowed you to get these minifigure packs and get the minifigures without actually having to get the sets. So in these minifigure packs, as you can see here at the back, there was other themes from other lego sets like ninja um as well as rock rangers city and stuff like that but there was four star wars ones as you can see three three four zero three three four one three three four two and three three four three and <clears throat> these models actually got a little card as well as a little stand for the minifigure itself as you can see there in the background it won't focus but yeah it's in the background there you can see that it actually got a little stand a little card and each of these models actually got their own standing card so you were able to collect all these four models and actually get all the cards for all of them as well as all the minifigures so if you're going to get all of these you get exactly saying three times four you get 12 different minifigures going from some darth c uh sorry darth maul darth vader palpatine to then battle droids to then good guys and a bad guy and a good guy and two bad guys so you can definitely see what you got in the year 2000s with these minifigure packs. with our fifth set we've got the 7104 desert skiff lego set now this was hinting towards a jabba sail barge that got released a year after but we've got luke skywalker and han solo on the desert skiff set there this is the only set in this year that has this sort of box art and you can see that little side build that you can make as well as the desert skiff there in its full glory built on a little hanger which is pretty cool small little set that's our fifth set on this list let's take a look at our, our sixth. sixth set on this list is vertical so we've got the 7127 imperial atsd and this has only chewbacca and the actual set itself doesn't look that great to be honest with you i do like the atsd it is based on endor and the ewok village of course and the empire strikes back but there you can see that at the back it actually being dissembled by chewbacca taking it apart and you can actually build these two different builds so just pretty cool they're still doing that just imagine thing as from 1999 but they have the key difference is they have removed that lego system in the corner and only done lego star wars so that's pretty cool to see our six set on this list is vertical set on the list is flash speeder 7124 going back to horizontal box art now 
Now, I don't really like this flash speeder at all. It has one little um, operator for the flash speeder itself. It is based on episode one in our boot. It has 105 pieces. Pretty cool to see. Um, so there's this one and the ATSD is the same size box art. You can see the little side builds there in the corner, as well as the flash speeder being taken apart by the operator. Pretty cool to see. 7124, a little vibrant colored box based on the boot. Set on this list is the 7115 Gungan Patrol. Now, this was the first set and the last set to ever have these release of Gungans. Um, these little animals that they were actually riding. Uh, 77 pieces, and this makes the actual set really rare. So these two little animals there actually cost probably $50 each by themselves, which makes this set extremely rare to the average person. And now at the back, it shows you as well, it's a little bit of a trend to show the set being disassembled. You get two Gungans there in this set as well, of course, based on episode one as well, which is pretty cool in the Lego Star Wars 2000s era. The set in 2000s is the 7134 official first A-Wing fighter. Now, this one is red compared to all the other ones we were released, which were white and kind of reddish reddish wine color this was the first ever released a-wing by lego star wars now this one doesn't say just imagine at the front which is a bit weird so some of the boxes do some of the boxes don't it has a little mechanic as well as the a-wing pilot which is pretty cool to see and this box art is actually the same size as the Gungan Patrol we just had a look at. And it also shows the ship being disassembled and being changed into these little builds. Pretty cool as the first A-Wing ever first released. Small-ish set that we have in the sets of 2000s is the 8000 set number Pitroid Technic model. Now, this one is also vertical like we saw with the ATST. This is the same size box art as the Gungan Patrol and the A-Wing, but it is vertical. You can see the Pitroid there in the corner. Also based on episode one, them actually messing up the Anakin's pod racer and all being there and watching the pod race itself. Pretty cool to see that it can actually crouch and stand up. Um, Nothing really that crazy. You can actually change it into a speeder, a scout speeder, which is pretty cool to see. And some, you can press that little button there, which is also cool to see for a set like this from Lego Star Wars 2000. Some of the bigger Lego Star Wars sets in the Lego 2000s era. We've got the set number 7155, the Trade Federation AAT. Now, this is the original AAT that we ever got released. It was the sand colored version and these pieces are actually printed, which makes this set exclusive to its printing as well as this li little piece here that's also printed it receives two battle droids that has 158 pieces i personally love this trade federation aat it's one of my favorites ever released you can see a little bit of color there on the corner as well and the back shows it's going into a speeder and then also a cool swamped looking speeder and it being disassembled there at the back but this is the only set that has this size box up and it has push tabs as well, which is pretty cool to see. It doesn't have the tape just yet. Been going crazy with these Technic sets. We've got the Battle Droid Technic set, set number 8001. So the Pit Droid was 8000. Now this one is 8001. And you can definitely see the resemblance of the Battle Droid from episode one being on the battlefield to about to fight the Gungans. It is 350 millimeters tall, which is pretty cool to know for your collection. And at the back, you can actually move the gun back and forwards by shifting that little roller wheel at the back. And you can actually change it from a security officer to a commanding officer to actually also an ATSC, which is pretty cool to see. And also changing into battle and standby position. Then also we've got a couple pictures from the actual movie where they've actually changed from standby position to battle droid position. So pretty cool to see from the actual movie episode one. This is also the only size of this box in this Lego wave. The other ones are now bigger than this, this one. 7180, we've got the first ever B-Wing ever released. But 
this is a b-wing at rebel control center so even though it, it is a b-wing they actually count the control center as a massive part about the actual set we get an astromech droid we get a b-wing pilot as well as another mechanic so it's very popular for the 2000 sets to have a mechanic in a set as well as this little build which lego has been doing forever now they've still done it with many sets up to this point and also releasing times and times b-wings we've almost had four releases of b-wings so far um we'll see what happens in the future but this is set number 7180 being the first b-wing ever released in lego star wars the technic model and the 12th set on this list we've got the 8002 destroyer droid technic set now lego star wars was definitely trying something that here with the technic sets i don't blame them they were giving us some some different things of lego star wars which i appreciate really much i do love the square box of the actual box art itself and it actually shows all the little things that it can actually do sorry about the glare you can actually see it in standing position rolling position and actually being able to push it and change it to an aat which is pretty cool to see i do love this set pretty cool set technique in 2000 on to the third last lego star wars set in the 2000s era i do have one on my shelf right there but this is a sealed model that i needed for my collection now this is the set number 7184 trade federation mtt so we had the aat and now we have the MTT. So this is perfect for this era because it is based on episode one, which had the MTTs as well as the AATs as 466 pieces, <clears throat> making it the second largest set of this wave. Um, so we can definitely see that this was a very cool set, but it is arguably probably ugliest set ever made a lot of people do make that argument we have a lot of the other things like that technic model there and a lot of other sets that we know that are ugly but this especially is a very ugly set i just set on this list in the sets of 2000s we've got the 7190 official first lego star wars millennium falcon now this set included six minifigures including chewbacca han solo leia luke r2d2 and c3po this was a very popular set back in the day the boxer is absolutely phenomenal this set is in mint condition in my collection i love this set so much it is one of the official sets i do have it built here on my shelf so this is a brand new model i bought from all the way from japan believe it or not but this is the largest set of the 2000s era not counting the ucs models which i will be doing in a separate video i will do all the ucs models ever made but this is the last official lego star wars set ever released now a little bonus in this video we've got the star wars value pack now this was a set released in 2000s but it included a 1999 set as well as a 2000 set so it's very weird to think that the sets themselves are 1999 but they also have a 2000 set so pretty cool to see 7144 and 7110 it was officially 26 dollars and now 15 this would probably set you back 400 dollars nowadays so that gives you a bit of perspective on how lego star wars sets have grown over the years and if you need a little bit of a guide of what you need to buy to complete your lego star wars collection that is all the sets you need for the 2000s year Thank you so much for enjoying my like video. Subscribe for more videos. The next episode will be the 2001. So make sure to stay tuned for that video if you want to collect every single Lego Star Wars set like I am myself. Make sure to like and subscribe to my videos. And see you guys in the next video.